this my wife got me it's a matchbox it's a 76 honda civic and it's yellow and i used to have one i actually had a 76 honda civic in yellow looked exactly like that and the story behind that was i really needed a car and i didn't really have a lot of money and a buddy of mine worked at the tow yard for the police he worked at the impound lot every week or every month whatever it was they would auction off cars and you can go there the day of or the previous day i can't remember how it worked and you can go get the keys and you can see which ones run and go through them that's how most auctions work around the country anyway so he worked there he knew what was good and what wasn't already so i showed up i walked around he showed me this car and i was like that's perfect for me i like little cars anyway it had keys and it ran and it moved it, it had all its parts and that's a little weird sometimes for some impound lots usually stuff is like smashed up and the police recovered it or whatever it's from an accident so the, the, the yard's just full of all kinds of everything so i show up to this auction i think i was about 18 years old so the auctions are starting on the side and going down the line and the bids are starting at whatever the yard is owed for storing the car so it starts over here and half the stuff is just beat up like really bad accident looking things there's maybe 10 to 15 people that are there for this particular auction and the one dude was a, a big dude and there was like a lot of mexicans there and then there's me and they start over here and it's like you know hundred dollars or whatever guy goes hundred dollars nobody wants it because it's all beat up you know they're trying to get the cars like i am get something they had their eye on one particular or a couple different particular cars going down the line going down the line this big dude is buying everything no matter what it looked like he was grabbing he was buying all of it it was crazy the money this dude was spending so it finally gets to the yellow civic bidding started at like 60 bucks i'm like 60 bucks the guy's like 65 i'm like okay this sucks because he bought everything already i really need this car i know it runs i know it has keys this isn't this is a great car from for somebody for me to use so you know 70 bucks 75 eight keeps going up and the guy keeps outbidding me get to like a hundred dollars i'm like dude i go sir i really need that car to use because i know that it runs i need a vehicle to go to work and back i need i really need this car i'm just 18 years old you know and this and i said sir you bought every single car up to this point can you just let this one go and he's like 110 i'm like dude 115 and then he goes let the kid have it i'm like dude i could have had this for 60 bucks you drove it up twice the price i finally get it i have to go in there and do all the paperwork which was fine but i was so angry at this guy i could have got it for 60 bucks so i come to find out later who is this guy he owned pick apart down in the valley which is a major junkyard. I guess you could equivalent that to LKQ in this area, in the Raleigh area, and he owned it. So he was buying everything because he's gonna make a fortune off that stuff anyway, no matter how beat up there was. They're, they still had like wheels and stuff on them. So no matter what, he was gonna make money. And all he did was drive the price up of this car for me to get, I think I got it for around 120 bucks, 115, 120 bucks. I could have got it for half of that. I was so, angry because i didn't have a lot of money so anyway i bought that car and i drove the heck out of that car i loved that car it had some issues it was definitely not perfect but it ran great and it drove great the interior was not the best and it had some other some other issues but it was great and one day i was just flooring it down the freeway just yeah, this thing was just screaming and 
thing just blew and I was like, okay. I drove it home, it was like a head gasket or something blew and you can hear what sounded like the crank hitting the bottom of the pan. I really don't know what the noises were. It was really loud. I'm like, you know what? I'm bringing it home. I'm not gonna leave it on the side of the road. I drove it the rest of the way home that way and I ended up getting rid of it. But I had it for a, a little while Probably not even a whole year, but I had it for a little while and I loved that car. That was a great car. Sadly, there's no pictures of that car. If you go that far back in the day, not everybody carried cameras around. You had to buy the camera, then you had to buy film for the camera, and then when you used it, then you had to pay to go have it developed. So a lot of people back in the day didn't, we didn't do that sort of thing. We couldn't afford those like luxuries back then. I know you're probably laughing at that going, oh, that's just cheap. For people like us, we didn't have that type of money to, to do that with. 